watching. Today we're doing session number four, so if you have a worksheet, it'll have a number four at the top. And it's about the shepherds and how they came to find baby Jesus. So we're going to start out with the story from the Bible. And if you have a Bible, go ahead and turn to Luke chapter 2, verses 8 through 20. And in the Bible, Luke is in the New Testament. It starts with Matthew, and the very next book is Luke. So we'll find about what happened with the shepherds. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of the heavenly hosts appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to men on whom his favor rests. When the angel had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby, who was lying in the manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told them about this child. And all who heard were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. But Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen, which were just as they had been told. Okay, we have the wonder box here. Tell what's in it, so we'll need to open it up. And the faith word today is joy. And joy means a feeling of gratitude and happiness. And here's our Bible verse, and this is what Mary thought. With all my heart, I glorify the Lord in the depths of who I am. I rejoice in God, my Savior. Luke 1, verses 46 and 47. So Mary was willing to be the mother of Jesus. Can you imagine what it was like to be a shepherd? Back then, being a shepherd wasn't the greatest job. You were outside, whether it was raining or hot. You had to take care of all these sheep who might run away. You had to make sure they had water and grass to eat. And then there were wild animals, like maybe a wolf would come along and want to eat one of your sheep, so you had to fight them off and keep them away. Then, when the baby lambs were being born, the shepherd usually stayed out all night with his sheep to stay with those little babies. So it was a hard life. And the shepherds were the very first people who came to see baby Jesus. So we try to remember the story the way Mary did. It said that Mary saw all these things, heard all these things, and she thought about them. And that's a good thing to do, to read from the Bible and hear the story and just wonder about what it all means. So we've got um, a game to play here. So I've got some words here. And when we've used a word, then we'll put it away. 
So I'm going to read a sentence, and I'm going to read where we should choose one of these words. So here's the first one. Jesus' earthly father, who was named... Do you see the one that's the name of Jesus' father? Starts with a J. Do you see the word that starts with J? Joseph. When Mary found out she'd be the mother of Jesus, she what? A song of praise to God. What do you think she did out of all these here? Starts with the S. And there's two of them. So which one did she do? She sang. She sang a song glorifying God. She was willing to be the mother of Jesus. Okay, the next one is the name of the angel who visited Mary. Out of all these, what's left? What do you think? Starts with a G. Do you have it? Gabriel. He was one of God's angels. He came to Mary and told her that God had chose her to be the mother of Jesus. And she said yes. Okay, the next one is the town when Mary, where Mary and Joseph lived before they went to Bethlehem where Jesus was born. Do you see the name of the town here? Nazareth. That's where they lived. Mary and Joseph had to travel to be counted in what? Now this is a hard one because we don't do it this way. You get your tax paper in the mail these days or online, but back then they had to go to the town where their family was from, and they had something that showed how much tax they would pay. So it's a word with tax in it, taxless. Bet you know this one. When Jesus was born, Mary laid him in what? A manger. And we sing that song. We sing away in a manger. That's where he was laid. Okay, so who were the first people who went to see baby Jesus? This one or this one? That's what we're talking about. The shepherds, they were the first ones who went. And they were so happy and excited, they went and told other people to go see this baby Jesus and see how God had sent him. Okay, well, this is easy, only one left. Who told the shepherds about Jesus? It was the angels. They told the shepherds about Jesus. So we'll see what's in the wonder box. I bet you can guess. we talked about. It's a shepherd. Okay, so um, you can share about Jesus because that is the reason we have Christmas. You can tell your friends and family that you know about Jesus and that's a good thing. So we're going to go ahead and light our Advent candles. And we're going to light the four on the outside. So we have 
of our Advent candles lit and they help us celebrate. And in the middle, the last candle we can light on Christmas Eve. And so this is the end of our session. And think about it, just like Mary did. Think about how the shepherds went and saw baby Jesus and how fantastic it was that God sent Jesus.